Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how we can achieve the AWS infrastructure set coding using Terraform and achieving the required CI CD that is continuous integration and continuous deployment via GitHub Actions. Okay, so as you see in my screen, I have represented this uh, aim of this video in a pictorial way. Yeah, so this is what my picture uh, represents the aim of this video that is to, to make you understand the required uh, prerequisites uh, for, for achieving the um, AWS infrastructure as coding and CI CD via uh, GitHub Actions. Okay, so as you see in my screen, okay, so here uh, I have added two big logos in the in the top row that is um, GitHub account and and AWS. Okay, yeah. So um, so in under the GitHub account, you might be knowing that it will it will have um, a GitHub repo and it will host the GitHub um, Actions as well. Okay, so GitHub Actions is the is my tool which I will be using. Uh, to achieve the CI CD, okay, yeah. Henceforth, I have added GitHub account at the top and the below that one I have added Terraform and the GitHub Actions, okay, yeah. And uh, and they are the top right side I have added the AWS logo, okay. Under the AWS logo, I have added multiple AWS services which we consume, okay. So and at the at the uh, top uh, left side, okay, uh, starting of the left side, I have the uh, the Visual Studio Code, okay. So Visual Studio Code is nothing but my IDE, which I will be using it for doing the infrastructure as a coding. That is where I will be coding the Terraform code, YAML code, okay, which is required to do to achieve the infrastructure as a coding. Yeah. So henceforth the uh, the Visual Studio Code symbol is been added here. Yeah. After that I have added Terraform. Okay. Why why Terraform? What I mean to say is I'm creating a repo where I will be storing my Terraform file. Okay. Yeah, I'll be creating my my branches in the in the GitHub account. Inside this branching branches, I will be hosting my files and folders. Okay, where which I represented as a Terraform. Yeah, once the codes are been merged to uh, merge to those uh, GitHub account branches, automatically I will be defining the GitHub action workflows. That is GitHub action workflows. Okay, so those workflow will be kicked on based on my conditions. Okay, then automatically the GitHub actions comes in picture after the Terraform. Yeah. Once the GitHub Actions successfully runs, then you will at the end, the end product is nothing but your infrastructure. That is, that is AWS infrastructure. Okay, yeah. So henceforth, to make you understand as an overview, yeah, it's a bird view. Okay, I can say so. It's an overview of uh, the achieving the AWS infrastructure as a code and CI/CD via um, GitHub Actions. You need these kind of configurations. Okay, yeah. So um, with this brief, let me quickly walk you through the prerequisites of this setup as well. Okay. After that, I will just pictorial. I will, uh, I will just show you the how the environment looks okay i have i have already set up my environment which i mean for doing the infrastructure as a code and cicd via github actions okay so so before i show that real environment which i already set up i will just quickly walk you through the the required prerequisites okay yeah so this is the slide which where i, I have articulated uh, in a such a way that uh, to to make you understand okay yeah so as you see here so uh, we need uh, in total uh, five prerequisites okay yeah one is the Definitely AWS account. Okay, so if you don't have the AWS account, no worries. You can uh, AWS provides a free tier account. Yeah Please go to this link. Yeah Please go to this link and and you from where you can create the AWS free account. Yeah, and the free account has its own um, uh, Terms and condition. Okay, I would again recommend you to study the prerequisites class uh, very neatly or very very understandably. Yeah, yeah um, so after that, um, you need a GitHub account, right? Because um, you, since you are doing the CI CD, right? So where you will be uh, committing your changes to um, a GitHub repo, and GitHub repo will be indeed hosting your branches, and the branches indeed will be hosting your codes. Okay, yeah. So that's the reason. In, in general, okay. In general, I have articulated under a GitHub account. Okay, and you can create the GitHub account by following this um, this URL. Okay, yeah. After that, the local ID. Okay, so IDE where you would be doing all your um, um, CI CD. That is a DevOps task. That that is the uh, the IDE through which you can do the um, uh, the code commit, uh, code changes. Okay. Um, the code pushes, yeah. So all the tasks you can do through an ID, yeah. I would always recommend to use the Visual Studio Code, okay. So that's the reason you can download the Visual Studio Code MSI from here and get it installed in your laptop, okay, yeah. And once you have the Visual Studio Code set up, please do, um, please do make sure that you install the GitHub uh, Git for Windows, okay, because that only after that only it will automatically identify that the how to work with the github okay yeah so that's the reason this is the one more prerequisites along with the vs code yeah and after that uh, so i have finally added the uh, the the last link which is how to you can how to work on the devops um, devops in git okay with vs code and github okay so so how how to achieve the required task okay 
which are pertaining to devops in regards to vs code and and the github account okay so all those tasks are been very neatly articulated okay by this uh, azure devops lab site okay just go to this log, log uh, go to this uh, site and walk through the uh, walk through the pages where they have explained the how each task like like how to clone the repo how to create the um, uh, new file how to upload the new folders okay how to commit it how to stage it okay and also how to upload or how to publish to the upstream branch how to create the new branch in the local repo yeah so all those tasks are been uh, are been articulated in this um, um, uh, uh, in this url please uh, do walk through that okay so that you will understand okay so the find the final url is meant to understand how you can work with the vs code which is meant for devops task okay yeah yeah so that's it so, so these are the, uh, the indeed five prerequisites which uh, you need to have uh, to achieve the aws infrastructure support and whereas you achieve the whereas to do the ci cd task via github actions okay yeah so um, i have already followed all those uh, setups and i have my environment ready now yeah so let me quickly show you how the environment looks okay so i have downloaded the github account yeah so i, I have downloaded the uh, visual studio code and installed in my laptop okay and i have uh, i have a github account yeah and this is my github repo and inside this github repo i have those these files which i mean for aws infrastructure as a code and and doing the ci cd task via uh, via github account okay so henceforth i have my, my i have this visual studio code environment which looks like this okay and after that let me take you to the uh, the two more um, um, prerequisites one is this is my aws free tier account okay so this is my um, aws free tier account which looks like this okay where i have set up my required um, uh, environment here like like how to do the uh, terraform uh, backend configuration okay i would explain these terraform backend related configuration in the further videos yeah uh, whereas um, yeah so this is this this is the aws account which i created and i would be using only free tier okay so because if you are using the other than the free tier aws will cost, cost, make you cost okay so make sure that you make sure that you only provision the services which are meant for free okay if you are provisioning the services which are not free then definitely you will be charged okay so so please make a note okay yeah and also uh, as, as i explained to you i have created a github account and inside the github account yeah i have created a repo so this is my github account and inside this i have a repository yeah so this is my repository so let me take you to that this is my repository as you see here inside this repository i have created one main branch and i have the one feature branch okay so with these two branches i will i'm i'm enough i'm happy enough to um, achieve the required infrastructure coding yeah i would be explaining these in detail in the future videos um, further videos as well yeah yeah and also finally github actions okay so inside this um uh, github repo i have the github actions as well so so these are the github actions i have defined okay so i will explain in regards to this in, in more detail in the in the next videos as well okay so yeah. so indeed so this is what the i have followed all the prerequisites which i have explained here and at the end i am able to um, i am able i am able to ready for the doing the final task called aws infrastructure as a code and ci cd via github actions okay yeah uh, whereas uh, to know more about uh, further like how you can achieve the azure level infrastructure as a code and ci cd via github actions please do watch my previous videos where i have explained everything from the scratch okay yeah and i also created multiple videos in regards to uh, the infrastructure as a coding at azure and ci cd via github actions okay yeah uh, and also please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot okay with that note thank you thanks a lot for watching this video